Hey everyone, this is Dr. Keith. Let's go ahead and learn how to use the Tableau JavaScript API to put the visualizations we make in Tableau Desktop on a web page of our choice. So here's a brief tutorial on the steps we're going to cover. Uh, you'll find a link to it somewhere probably on your Learning Suite account. Um, let's see here. Right here. Or just go ahead and follow uh, this URL up here. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, first thing first, I want to go and use some editor of your choice, uh, whether it's an ID or just a simple text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio. And let's make a folder with a small website and add an HTML page. So here is, all right, Windows Explorer. Let's go somewhere to Documents, um, Visual Studio, Projects. I've already got a folder right here, but for the sake of this video, I'll make one more. IS415 um, Tableau. Okay, got a folder back here in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and open website on my file system. Here we go. There's the folder open. So now we're here in Solution Explorer. I've got a, a website root. Let's add a new item. HTML page dashboard.html or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter okay we've got this let's keep it simple we don't need that I'm obsessive compulsive so let's make sure that we tab things properly all right I has 415 uh, tableau javascript api demo okay back here on our getting started example it says there's four basic things we're going to do Create a web page and let's reference the Tableau JavaScript API. You can download this and put it on your server instead of calling. Um, uh, I'll show you the actual URL. We'll modify this to use the one already on Tableau. Um, one of our students figured out in class a couple days ago. Or if you want to store the file and download it, you can do that. Here's actually a link to download that Tableau 2 file right here. However, you've got to be running it on a live server. It won't simply work running it off of your machine. So it might be simpler for now to just go ahead and reference the one that's on Tableau public. So right here, we're going to put public.tableau.com. And that's the actual reference to their file. We can test that by, oh, there we go. It wants to download it. So we're going to hit cancel cancel out of that. So the link works. I just held down control and clicked it and it tried to download the file. So next thing we need is our own separate JavaScript file. So let's add a new one. New item. JavaScript file. Call it whatever we want. I'll call this one Tableau.js. There we go. Okay, we uh, let's put a link uh, in our HTML file to this Tableau JavaScript. I'm just going to click and drag it into here. There we go. And then next we're going to need, need a div tag. Div with an ID. ID has to be a unique name. Let's call this Tableau Viz. Close the div tag. All right. So next let's go back to our Tableau JavaScript file. Save all. And we're going to copy from right here this function called initViz for initialized visualization. So this is the bare minimum needed to uh, put your visualization on a page. So what it wants here is to find create a variable that finds the div on our web page. Now we called ours Tableau Viz. So let's copy that paste it in here. That's the name of the div that we're looking for. Then we're going to make a variable called URL uh, to pass in and we're going to put uh, the location of our visualization. So where does that location come from? Well, the way it works is we have to go to Tableau Desktop, create some visualization. Um, I've created this one here. Let's actually um, what I should do is start this part over. I'm going to close this out so you can see every step. Close and let me open up something different. 
I'm going to do this clustering example right here. So pick a visualization, any visualization. All right, I'm going to change the name of this. This is, I'm going to call it um, pedal length by width. This is a very common data set. Um, you'll use it if you take uh, Doug Dean's BI class uh, in the winter semester. Uh, anyway, I want to publish this visualization. I'm going to go ahead and give it a filter just for the fun of it. Species, so I can throw one in there. Uh, use all. Okay. Let's show this. Filter over here. Anyway, I just want to have that on the page. So what we need to do is come here to server, and we're going to say Tableau public, save to Tableau public. First thing it's going to do, oh, because I've done it before, it skipped some other tasks. All right, when you do this, so sorry, when you do this, it's going to pop up a little screen that says, uh, do you want to, or sometimes depending on your data set, it's going to say, do you want to create a, a data extract? And on that, you're going to have to click a button that'll say, yes, create extract. And you're just going to hit OK and accept uh, the default options. Once you do that, you're going to have to go to server a second time and say, save to Tableau public again. And this time it will do what you just saw mine do. It'll go ahead and upload all the data, save it, and open your visualization here on Tableau public. So sorry I couldn't show you an example of that because I, once you've done it once, you won't have to do it again a second time. And because I've done it once, it didn't pop that question up. So again, when it when you're back here, the first time you hit save to Tableau public, it's going to say you need to create a data extract first. You just click, go ahead and there's a button that says create data extract. And once that pops up, do it, accept the defaults, and then do this a second time. And it'll work just like mine did. Okay, back here, scroll down to the bottom of your visualization. You've got some options. So there's some details. I can decide uh, how I want to name it. I can also decide whether I want to allow other people to download the workbook and the data. By default, that's not selected. That's a good thing. So you can use data safely. It's available. The visualization is available to be viewed on Tableau Public by anyone, but you don't have to share the data with anyone. What you want, though, right here under Share is this link. This link right here. Go ahead and copy that. Control-C. And then you want to come back to your code, control V, paste that in right there. All right, once we have that, uh, let's double check. This all looks good, I believe. Uh, we've got the div, we've got that file. Last thing we need to do is call this init viz function. All right, so we're going to do that in here body on load init viz. And close parentheses semicolon control save so we simply want to call this function after this div has been rendered the onload function is called after everything inside the body is rendered so that's a great place to call the function all right i'm going to view this in a web page uh, view in browser here we go and now we have our visualization here in a web page